Right now it's 96 degrees downtown Denver. The record today is 98, so we can virtually guarantee that we'll break a record. And we don't guarantee much when it comes to Colorado weather, right? Sun came up this morning at 5.30. It'll set at 8.30 this evening, so 15 hours of daylight. We'll still add a few more seconds onto the days between now and the summer solstice coming up on Sunday, the longest day of the year. And then starting next week, days start slowly getting shorter again. At the airport, we're also 96 degrees, so just 2 degrees away from the record. Unhealthy for sensitive groups today. Young children, older adults, those with respiratory problems, including asthma, should certainly avoid spending too much time outdoors. Poor visibility, and it is another action day because of the ground level ozone pollution. You're asked to do whatever you can do to help care for our summer air, including waiting until after 5 p.m. before refueling your vehicle. Melinda Leach up on the northwest side of Boulder. She's in the foothills above Boulder at about 6,500 feet, 90. That's warm for up there. She's saying pretty hot for the mountains. It certainly is, or at least the foothills there. We have one spot that's already in the triple digits. Longmont, 101 for you. The rest of us, for the most part, are still in uh, the 90s, but Fort Collins, you're getting close. 99, it's 98 uh, currently in Loveland. So the Rockies play tonight. Milwaukee's now in town. We swept the... Uh, uh, the Padres, that was fun to see. First pitch temperature tonight, 90. And then in the ninth inning, 81. So another very warm evening uh, tonight. And that day game yesterday was one of the hottest Rockies home games on record. Satellite imagery here showing uh, some high cloudiness in addition to the haze from the, uh, the wildfire smoke coming mainly from Arizona and the uh, ozone. There's a very small chance for a shower or a thunderstorm this afternoon. If you do get a thunderstorm, you're probably going to get more wind than rain, exactly what happened yesterday. There's just not enough moisture to create any significant rain. The high pressure ridge responsible for all this heat. It's going to move farther into Arizona as we get into tomorrow. That's going to allow a weak cold front to come in tomorrow. That's going to set up a northwesterly flow, which is going to drop temperatures. Tomorrow will not be as hot. Some of us are very excited about that. We're going to fall to near 90, We're still way above normal, but we'll get away from the triple digits. There's also a pretty good chance for seeing showers and storms in the mountains tomorrow afternoon, and we'll see if a few of those storms can make their way toward Denver. We are going to increase the chance for thunderstorms tomorrow here in the metro area to about 30%, similar number on Saturday. So a better chance for seeing thunderstorms late day tomorrow and into the start of the Father's Day weekend. 80s in the mountains here this afternoon, 90s if not triple digits for the rest of us, about 100 or so in Denver, and then we'll drop 10 degrees tomorrow, back down to near 90, and then on Saturday, similar numbers. Saturday, we may not have a single Single triple digit in the state. It'll be over a week since we've been able to say that. And then look at Sunday. Look how cool it'll be for Father's Day up in Wyoming. 70s there. We'll still be near 90 here in town, but those 70s, they should make their way toward us as we get into Monday. In fact, Monday's high only 72, and I may be too warm there. We could spend most of the day in the 60s. It's going to be a big change, and there's a lot of irony there, McKenzie, because Monday will be the first full day of summer after the summer solstice Sunday evening. So first full day of summer could be our coolest day in more than three weeks. So we're really just getting a taste of summer right now. That's true. And of course, it warms right back up after that 80s and 90s most of next week. Well, we'll enjoy the cooler weather while we have it. <laughs> Thanks, Ashton.